but he's like really aggressive like when he's hungry oh honey he's hungry <laughs> feed him please somebody <laughs> My channel is Nay Rose here and I'm back with another video for you guys with my baby Kai who decided to fall asleep right before I made this video I think he's faking I don't know we'll see but um yeah so today I'm back with a one month update this is kind of like my first video with him um, I showed him on my labor and delivery story video at the end so if you haven't seen that video go check it out but even since that video which was what maybe like a week ago he's changed so much um so it's definitely time for a labor oh i just said labor and delivery video it's definitely time for a one month update because he turned a month two days ago and so we're just gonna go over like everything that i've learned as a first time mom and just him in general here let's try this because you are getting heavy He's been gaining weight. He's had two pediatrician appointments um, and they were a week apart. And literally the first week he was a little over five pounds and the next week he was a little over six pounds. Um, and mind you, when he was born, he was four pounds, 14 ounces. If you don't know, he is a preemie. Um, I introduced him onto my Instagram page. If you guys don't follow me on IG, make sure you guys go ahead and follow me because that's where I really keep you guys up to date on everything. And then YouTube is just like, you know, you got, they kind of connect, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you follow me through Instagram and then you wait for the YouTube video explaining everything <laughs> and taking you through everything like firsthand. So, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, so he's been gaining weight, like healthy weight and everything. Um, he's going at a good pace. He's eating a lot more. He's eating three ounces, about like roughly three ounces per feeding. Um, I'm trying to keep the schedule that I had him on. Um, it's kind of hard because, come on buddy. Eh, eh, eh. It's kind of hard keeping him on um, the schedule that I had because you kind of have to feed on demand. Like, you know, if he gets hungry, again, you can't just starve him, like you gotta feed him. So sometimes um, the feeding schedule changes a little bit. Okay, he's starting to fidget. Come on, buddy. We gotta make this video. You were just up and now you wanna sleep. You wanna wake up and say hi? I can't hold you like this, that's uncomfortable. He's so spoiled too. He'll like fake cry and then when you pick him up, he's all of a sudden just oh so fine. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, he's eating good, um, gaining weight at a good pace. Um, I've had to change his formula like three times, three or four times because it just hasn't been cooperating with his stomach and I had to take him off the cow's milk because that just was not doing it. Like he was not having it. <laughs> like every time he fed, he would just cry right after and scrunch his little legs up and be like, mm, mm. like that's literally my impersonation of what he does or what he was doing when he was on the cow's milk because I switched it three times. Um, which ones was it? It was the Similac. I forgot the name of it, but it's Similac. Then I changed it to the sensitive stomach one, but it was still Similac, so it was still cow's milk. And then I changed it to the Pro Total Comfort one. <laughs> Same problem. So I just switched it all together to Enfamil, and I took him off the cow's milk, and he's been doing like a lot, a lot better. Um, if anything, he just has the normal like griping, gas, colic that every baby pretty much has so that's like normal it kind of sucks when he's like really gassy and uncomfortable but like as long as you burp him enough <laughs> or do the techniques to get the gas out which i learned and i saw that you can you know stretch their legs out and um scrunch them back to their stomach like press it against their stomach to try to help get the gas out so i've done it a few times but he this little boy is aggressive that's the other thing let's move on to that he like will like push back against me so it's kind of hard to even do that to get the gas out but he's like really aggressive like when he's hungry oh honey he's hungry <laughs> feed him please somebody because <laughs> it's the end of the world you better have the bottle ready it better be warmed up because he is ready to eat okay 
He don't want to wait on nobody. He don't want you to try to play with him to calm him down and distract him. Like that only works for a certain amount of time. He's too smart for his own good, you guys. Like <laughs> he doesn't even like pacifiers because he's like too smart for them. Like <laughs> I remember I was trying to give him a pacifier to kind of distract him from the fact that I was still making the bottle. Um, and he was not having it. He was just like, this is not the boob and this is not a bottle nipple. So what's going on? Where's the real thing? But yeah, when I say aggressive, I mean kicking and moving his head, yanking his head. Like by the time it's time for me to actually feed him, he won't even like, he's pushing his head past the, past the bottle top. Like I, it's ready now. It's, it's ready. I promise. <laughs> this boy is knocked out. Oh my gosh. He is really getting heavy y'all. Probably going to wake up hungry too. Okay, let's hold you down here because you're too heavy. You're going to stay right here on my little lap until you decide to wake up. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like I was saying, um, he also tries to hold the bottle by himself. Like, <laughs> by the time... Oh my gosh, and y'all, I don't even be taking that long, I promise. Like, you would think I was taking... Like, I'd be taking less than five minutes, okay? You would think I took an hour to feed him the way he acts because by the time I give it to him, he'll literally, like, try to grab the bottle on his own already. Other than that, he's good. Like, after he's eaten... Um, his diapers changed and he loves baths. He loves bath time. Um, the first time I did bath time, he was kind of like, he didn't know how to feel about it, but then he started getting used to it and he pees, y'all. He pees almost every bath time, I kid you not. I don't know what it is, I guess it's like the warm water. Um, he just feels a little too comfortable. He just decides to pee. And if you follow me on Instagram, oh my gosh, everyone was, DMing me and laughing at the video I posted because that was the first time I bathed him and he peed on me I didn't know what to do but I'm for real and now it's like I'm getting used to everything I'm like yep okay cool he peed uh, so also he sleeps so much oh my gosh but he is a preemie and literally they sleep like maybe between like 18 and 22 hours a day like out of the day so that's like the norm for preemies and so now that he's like one month he is considered like a newborn and newborns also sleep a lot oh are you up baby are you up for oh. <laughs> he's like i'm up but i don't want to be in your video <laughs> come on are you up for mommy hmm you talking back are you up for mommy huh <laughs> he's like where am i what is this camera doing right here? I did not sign up for this. Uh, Want to go back to sleep ASAP. <laughs> That's another thing about him, y'all. He is so funny. Like, he is my little bundle of joy because he just makes me laugh. Just his expressions. Like, I'm going to insert some pictures because his eyebrows go crazy, y'all. And they haven't even grown in yet, okay? When I tell you, he will, like, side eye you to the max. Facial expression go crazy. Drama king to the max, okay? But when he smiles, it's so cute. He has a cute little dimple on his right side. Aw. Okay, okay, back to this update. <laughs> I'm getting a little off topic, but... You good? You okay? I know, we talking about you. I'm sorry, buddy. But I only have good things to say. I'm not saying nothing bad about you. What else? Uh, what else? What else? What else? As a first time mom, it's just been like a lot of adjusting, y'all. That's really all it is. Just a huge adjustment. Adjustment to the schedule. Adjustment to life in general. Like just being at home with him, taking care of him. It's like a huge task, you know. Like it's not easy, but it's definitely worth it. Um, what else? His color has been coming in a lot more too. Like, you know when they're first born and people say you can tell by um, their earlobes, like how dark or how light they'll be. Um, it shows their true color at birth. Well, his, when he was born, was like darker for sure um, than his actual face and skin. And so now he's just now starting to like even out and get that true color. So, um, and you might can tell even from the the end of my labor and delivery video that he already looks like so different so um he's already starting to pick his head up a lot like um, i need to start doing tummy time i haven't started yet once he does get up i'm gonna like come back on camera because i want y'all to see him up like he's very very alert 
very alert. He always picks his head up like when I'm burping him and stuff. He's just like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> so that's pretty much it, I think, for my one month update. If you guys have any questions, you can um, put them in the comments. Y'all know I always respond and everything. Or follow me on Instagram and DM me. Um, whatever you have to do, sis, I'm here. I got the answers for you. Uh, this is just how it's going for me. Um, I'm enjoying the process so far. Let's see if I can give y'all like a few tips as a first time mom. Hmm. Or things I didn't know. Or I can make that a whole nother video. Hmm. Hmm. Let me know, y'all. He's like, girl, can you be quiet in my ear? I'm trying to sleep. Wakey, wakey. Oh, that's the other thing. He loves this toy, y'all. I got him a toy because I felt like he was just so bored like while he's up. Because <laughs> I can only entertain him for so long. You know, I'll talk to him, play with him, uh, you know, show him a little love. And then after that, it's just like, okay, now what? Like, he just be sitting there, like, exploring the world, which is good, too, because he needs to start being aware of his surroundings and, you know, realizing where he is. Hence, he's been in the womb for, well, eight months for me. Um, whew, it's hot. Goodness. I feel like carrying him as a workout already. He's only a month. Okay. So, I ended up just getting this little thing that has colored balls in it, and it makes this noise. And he likes it. See, he's he like he just woke up to that. Did you hear your toy? Look, y'all. I use this to calm him down quick. You up? You see the colors? It's so funny because he really be knocked out, y'all. Like I'm talking slumped. Like my sisters will come over and try to see him and you know play with him. Like okay, he's like is he awake? <laughs> like let me know if he's up before I even come. So it's like when he's sleep, he's sleep. But when he's up, he's up. That's just the type of kid he is at his age right now. I tried to wait until he woke up <laughs> to finish off this video, but he's finally up and he is hungry. So I'm about to go feed him. Um, he's like freaking out like I told you guys. He's like about to go crazy. Okay. <laughs> Before. Maybe he'll be more up next time, but this just shows you guys reality. Like, maybe sleep a lot, but it is hard to like make a video because it's like when they're up, they're up and they need a lot of attention. So it's just like you're the time everything right. That's the other thing about, you know, this first month is just like timing everything. It's like, you have to be on your time to keep your sanity <laughs> and not have them control everything. But then again, you have to be on their time so you can get what you need to get done, okay? But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know I'll be back for a two-month update. And he'll be in my other videos, you know, coming up. Is he going back to sleep? <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.